With help from Amberell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And new chef Michael Simon. Shot fire! Bam, bam! They'll compete for a $25,000 prize. Oh! To find out what happens yes. when they stop being disasters. Oh. <laughs> that was exciting! <laughs> and become culinary masters. I love it! Redemption! Yes! Well, that was a sneak peek at what we can look forward to on the special <laughs> edition of Worst Cooks in America, Best of the Worst. And this season, former fan favorites return for another chance to transform their culinary disaster into kitchen master. Yes, and of course, those recruits, uh, they don't stand a chance. They need some help from the <laughs> queen of culinary boot camp herself. There she is. Everybody say hello to Ann Burrell. And good to see you. As always, now, we, we, uh, we, you're going to teach us how to make braised uh, short ribs, but we already know how to eat them. I, I promise you, when Robox <laughs> sat down here, she said, is this edible? Can you literally eat this? And she picked it up and started eating already. So now you can show us how to make it. Well, good morning, and it's so nice to be here with you guys, um, even if it's virtually. And I sent some short ribs so you guys can be tasting this deliciousness while I'm making them. So short ribs, I have to say, one of my favorite ways to eat big meat. And it's also, you know, one of my favorite brown food tastes good. So I have a bunch of short ribs here that I brown, 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 like uh, really nicely. Like there's no question that those are brown food. So I have in my pan some carrots, onions, celery, and garlic that um, I pureed in the food processor and I'm browning these guys as well. And this becomes like sort of the base of our sauce. So it gets it like, um, there's some vegetables in there, but no one really knows there's vegetables in there, but it gives the sauce a lot of body to it. I have some tomato paste that we're putting in and we're gonna brown that as well. And we're gonna add uh, a nice big fat drink of wine because, you know, wine always makes everything better. So we just get that going. We give it a sprinky dink of salt and just get this all strewed around and, and the tomato paste browned a little bit. We bring it up to a nice simmer. There we go. <clears throat> it smells delicious in my apartment right now, I have to say. <laughs> All right, there we go. And so then we add some water to this and then we just transfer all of this sauce to our roasting pan. There we go. And then these babies go in the oven for about three hours. So what's, I mean, like short ribs are a little bit of trouble to get started, but once you do, you just put them in the oven and it's kind of like then, you know, set it and forget it. Three and hours then when they come at 375, out oven, is that right? Do we have it right, 375? Yes, mm. exactly. And then when they come out, you have this beautiful uh, dinner ready for you and the sauce is all ready to go in there. So look at this. All right, this is great for like a Sunday dinner. You can make a lot of them. So if you're having, when we're allowed to have people, we're allowed to have people over yes. now again, aren't we? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and then it's rich, it's hearty, mm. it's nice and meaty, and it's really delicious. And when people walk into your house, they're gonna say, Mm, what's going on? It smells so good in it, here. It not and only smells just so really good. nice and tender. It tastes so good. The flavor of this sauce is incredible, Anne. Like, I'm a huge fan of this. But, Anne, before we let you go, you're having Michael Simon join you. You got some boot camp backup. I think this is the first time. What's it going to be like having the, uh, the Iron Chef there with you? So, Michael Simon and I have been friends for a long time. Michael is an amazing cook. But, you know, I think he was even a little shocked when he walked into boot camp and to see <laughs> just how bad the worst cooks in America are. <laughs> and they truly are that bad and they are the worst cooks in America. But when they leave boot camp, they are no longer a worst cook. Uh, <laughs> there's hope for everyone. So Michael was 
right? Michael is so fun to work with, um, and he's a great teacher and a great cook. So we have, he and I have a great time together. Well, this looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. It tastes fantastic. Mm. Hopefully folks can make it at home. But, and thank you. We want folks to know Worst Cooks in America, Best of the Worst Air Sundays on Food Network. And we'll see you next time, all right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.